can you just tell us a bit about yourself and uh, what it is that you do? Hi, Pete. Yep, thanks for having me. So uh, I'm a musician, obviously. So uh, I'm principal oboe player in the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. And at the moment, uh, not playing any concerts because uh, we're not allowed. <laughs> so what is life like for someone in the QSO during COVID-19? Yeah, look, so we, we've basically all been told to stay at home. We're being asked to do a few different activities like um, uh, recording videos, um, particularly for education use. Um, I've been calling a lot of patrons and donors for musicians like myself with young children. Um, this time is basically all about just um, looking after the children. So um, my wife has to work and I'm looking after the kids most days and um, just trying to keep them from, from uh, killing each other. Mm. That sounds very familiar to me. Thanks, you. Yeah. Uh, so can you just tell us a bit about what inspired you to be a professional musician and to set your life or career after uh, that kind of route? I suppose I just always loved music. Uh, I started playing music when I was about six years old, um, started on saxophone and recorder, and then a few years later, the oboe, um, you know, mucked around with um, playing piano and guitar and bass guitar and things like that at youth group. It's probably the one thing that I, I was best at um, as a kid. And it was probably the one thing that I found easiest. Um, so a lot of those reasons were kind of the reason why I went into music um, because it was just something I enjoyed and something that I was, I was good at. I wouldn't say it's um, the most important thing in my life or, and I wouldn't say that, you know, uh, I couldn't live without it type thing. Um, but uh, it's something that, uh, yeah, God has gifted me in doing music and, um, and given me opportunities through that. And uh, so far, so good. Um, but, you, you know, you never know what the future will hold. How is God's creativity a reality uh, in your being uh, uh, an artist? And is it something that you're conscious of as you rehearse and as you perform? When I think about... God's creativity. I mean, it's obviously intrinsic to who he is. He created the universe. He created uh, man and woman to be in his image and to glorify him essentially. And, and I think that's kind of the way I see creativity. Um, I think when I go to work, I'm not so much thinking about my creativity as a musician. I, I think I, I think the theology of, of creativity is something I see more in the people around me. Um, I try to remind myself on a daily basis that every person I'm sitting next to is made in the image of God. I try to see um, God's creative design in all the people I work with. Um, God essentially is a creator God for the purpose of love. He already had a great community before he made man and woman, he had Father, Son, Holy Spirit, um, a wonderful community uh, in the Trinity, but it actually finds its fulfillment when, when the Son of God uh, marries the church, marries a bunch of people, the sort of many in one God marries this many in one church. And so that, that sort of community aspect, I think, is what I envision envisage uh, creativity to be i'm probably not one of those musicians that says you know i need to create in order to be i think i like to see god's creativity um in the people around me rather than thinking about my own creativity and, and what i can bring uh what's it like to be a christian in the qso yeah look being a christian queensland symphony orchestra um in a lot of respects has been very encouraging. Um, there's quite a lot of Christians in the Queensland Symphony Orchestra, but like any workplace, there's always going to be people um, who are opposed to religion um, and who can sort of let um, those biases get in the way of the way they mm. um, speak to you or relate to you. Um, and that's, I mean, that's, that's quite prominent in the creative industries in general, that there can be a bit of a lack of tolerance, but, on the other hand, um, a lot of um, my colleagues have been incredibly open and in inquisitive and um, very supportive. But, you know, it is always challenging as a Christian to, um, to not uh, follow the, the, uh, the norms and, and the, the wide, wide path of, 
of your colleagues. What advice would you give to young artists on enjoying creativity in relation to living for Jesus? Yeah, look, I mean, the first thing I'd say is like, um, don't ever fall into the trap of feeling like being a creative person is a bad thing. Um, we get a lot of messages like that in different parts of society. Sometimes it can come from churches. Um, mm. Sometimes it can just come from our governments. And creatives tend to have a very low self-esteem and a low, very low self-worth. And partly that's society's fault, but I think it's partly also creative's fault. As a Christian, you have the advantage that you can view yourself as, as a dearly loved child of God. Um, and that your your value and your identity and your worth is not tied up in what other people think of you, um, but rather in in what he thinks of you and uh, what he's done for you and the sacrifice he's made for you. My number one piece of advice for creatives is is know that you are dearly loved. Um, know that um, God loves you, um, no matter what you're doing, no matter how good your creativity is or not, um, and no matter what the world around you is, is telling you about yourself. You know, our creativity is really an act of love. Um, you are put on this earth to, to love your neighbour um, and to, to love people around you, whatever that may look like. The way you use your creativity um, needs to be in a loving way, whether that's you thinking about the messages that you're communicating um, in, in the art that you're making. Um, and the relationships that you're fostering through that. For me, I don't really have to think much about the the music I'm making because it is kind of all there put in front of me on a music stand with the conductor telling me what to do and that kind of thing. But I need to think about, well, how, how, am, I, um, how am I telling this story faithfully to the audience who've paid money to come and see me? Um, how am I serving the people around me um, in the way that we relate, in the way that we work together and create together. That's fantastic. Hugh Jones, Principal Oboist in the Queensland Symphony Orchestra. Thanks for sharing your thoughts with us today. No worries. Thanks for having me.